So I couldn't think of an entertaining video to do this week, so I thought, well, you know what we could do? Talk about all my regrets? What should we start with? I have a list of regrets. Oh, that's a long list. All right, well, let's start with this one. In 2020, I did a video about PewDiePie, the biggest YouTuber's guitar skills. And I was super proud of the video, but there was something wrong with that video. I had a sponsor for that video that was, shall I say, adult related? And I, and I didn't think anything of it when I did it. It was just, it was just a regular sponsor. But then I started to get a little bit of a little backlash about having those types of ads in my videos. Honestly, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. If I knew that this sponsorship was going to ruin that video, I would have never done it. And it just so happened that this ad was in the first 30 seconds of the video. It wasn't a mid-roll ad or anything like that. So yeah, not a lot of people were happy with me about that one and uh, which showed, because in the analytics, within the first 30 seconds of that video, I statistically lost 50% of viewers. Half of the people that watched that video left within the first 30 seconds, ruined that video completely and I 100% deserved it, and I will never make that mistake again. Of all videos, it was the PewDiePie video. I was like, if this video does well, maybe PewDiePie will see it and I could be his guitar teacher or something, because he does have potential. But, no, I'm just gonna do an adult-related ad in the beginning. And I apologize for that, by the way. I've never publicly apologized for, you know, ah. Uh, <laughs> I just really wish that didn't happen. So, let me try this again. Here are the sponsors for today's video. PUBG Mobile. The original battle royale experience, but on mobile. With emphasis on sexy graphics, enthralling shooting experience, and intricate maps. Oh, I, I apologize for that. 100 players descend upon the battleground to fight it out to be the last team standing. With a pan, I beat you with a pan, bruh. And there are multiple maps that are really designed to allow you to use strategy, utilize the map to your advantage, use cover, know your surroundings. I'm out of bullets, we're gonna just have to settle this the old fashioned way, huh? Oh, you like that? I got a tenderize you like a sirloin. And there's also a new game mode called Flora Menace. The maps have been taken over by alien plants called Urillo, and it's up to you to get to the cell matrix and investigate the threat and take it out. The PUBG Mobile also announced the return of seven old gameplay modes, including Metro Royale Reunion, Titan's Last Stand, Survive Till Dawn, Payload 2.0, Runic Power, Infection Mode, and Vikendi. And here's something neat. PUBG Mobile collaborated with multi-platinum producer and DJ Alan Walker. He released a song exclusively on PUBG Mobile, and the song is pretty sick, but it nags. <laughs> in the description. Download PUBG Mobile for free now. And be sure to check out Alan Walker's new song, Paradise. Thank you, PUBG Mobile, for sponsoring. Now back to my regrets. What's another regret? Oh yes, another video I did. Does the name Richard Benson? Yeah, okay, we're on the same page. I, okay. For those who don't know, I did a video about guitarist Richard Benson, but in the video I came across as a bit of an asshole. You suck! And I've expressed regret over this in the past. And look, it's not so much the video I regret. I've done tons of videos like that, but I just wish I approached that video differently. Like, rewatching it now, it's just it's just hard for me to rewatch that video because I just I just come across as a asshole bully kid. And maybe some people watch it and don't get that impression. But 100% I feel that way now. I remember saying in the video, Richard Benson sucks. Rick Benson sucks, Rick Benson sucks! I don't mean that at all. And I came across as an asshole saying it. 
and I really wish I addressed that in the video. I think I just assume that my videos come off as jokes, but sometimes just a little clarification would go a long way, especially after saying stuff like Richard Benson sucks. And of course, I could take down the video, but instead of erasing history, I learned from it. And if I heard from Richard Benson himself saying, hey man, yeah, don't appreciate the video, I would have taken it down. And this is my public apology to Richard Benson. I came across as an asshole in that video, and I apologize. And I would love to shred with Richard Benson. I would love to do a video with Richard Benson. All right, I'm trying to cover a lot of points in a short video, so let's move on to my next regret. Let's see here, let me just scroll down. <laughs> okay, I don't have that many, but. One of my biggest YouTube regrets, not taking it seriously sooner. If I rewind five years ago, I was doing what? A video a month? Two months? Meanwhile, Jared Dines, who you may have heard of, is busting his ass, doing video after video, and then he's surpassed my subscriber count and view count. Straight up, I, I, was, I was pissy because Jared Dines passed me. And it, it's my own fault. I was doing a video every two months, like what the frick do I expect? It wasn't until like maybe three years ago that I really started buckling down and I'm like, okay, I gotta do a video every two weeks. This is my job now and I have to take it seriously. And then more recently, YouTube was like, ah, one video every two weeks, not enough, bud. We're gonna need more. So I buckled down even more and I got down to one video a week. I, and I do everything myself. Editing, I'm a freaking idiot. I'm a glutton for punishment, but if I, if I just worked harder earlier, there's no saying where I'd be right now. I'd be Davey 504 in it up right now. <laughs> like, who knows? Oh, YouTube. Oh my God. And it's now the point where even a video a week, YouTube is like, not enough, bud. Well, I'm just one guy. So YouTube, you can go f yourself. All right, next regret. Oh, this is one that I've always wondered. Acting immature. I get this all the time. I was on Instagram the other day, just scrolling through feeds as we all do, and I came across a meme of me about let's start a Stevie T hate thread, which <laughs> is cool with me, like, but then I started wondering, like, what if I literally didn't act like an idiot from the start? What if I just did guitar stuff, but then I'm like, no, 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 no. All evidence goes towards me acting silly was how I succeeded on YouTube. I did guitar videos before my first big video, my Little Wayne video. I did videos before that of just guitar playing and they didn't go anywhere. But yeah, it's just one of those things where like, I would just like to know. If I did the Little Wayne video, but I didn't act like an idiot, the what ifs, there's always the what ifs. And you know what, I wouldn't change it. I'm still gonna act like a goofball. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, another regret, let's see. Oh yes, not having two-step authentication sign-in. Mid-2021, my channel got hacked. I didn't have two-step authentication enabled. I'm such a freaking idiot. Like, oh my God, bruh. I mean, I set it up afterwards and it took 10 seconds. Man, two-step authentication, bros. I don't want y'all to get hacky doodled like I did. <laughs> Little hacky sack. You guys remember hacky sacks? Oh, I got hacked, sacked. Okay, this one here is a big one. This is a big one. The, the band Dragon Force. Have you, yeah, oh, you have heard of Dragon Force. Oh, cool, all right, great. Yeah, everyone has, yeah. Uh, I could have been in there. Uh, yeah, I could have been in one of the biggest metal bands. Uh, what? So like around mid, late 2000 or 2019, uh, Herman Lee of Dragon Force asked me to join them on tour to be their bass player. Dragon Force is my favorite metal band. I've loved them since I was a, a teenager. They're my god, Herman Lee and Sam Topman are my gods. So I said yes, and then closer to the tour date, I had to cancel because anxiety and depression got the best of me. So I turned down Dragon Force. Good one, sport! <laughs> and when I canceled, I promised myself, I promised myself I would not regret it. I was not in a place mentally to do it. And then lo and behold, couple years go by and I'm regretting it. Funny how that works. Look, you know what? Yeah, I wasn't in the right place mentally, but the tour was two weeks long. That was it. What if I freaking had the time of my life? And 
I could have joined Dragon Force permanently. That could have happened. And I could have been in one of the biggest metal bands instead of, you know, YouTube is just so fickle. It's fickly as f***ing f***. <laughs> like, YouTube is so algorithmy. My early days on YouTube, I got by on personality, but that's not enough anymore. You have to be good at working the algorithms. You have to be good at titling things a certain way. And I'm not that. I guess when things are like that, it's easy to go, huh, I wonder what would have happened if I did join Dragon Force. Those are the what ifs I will always have now, but I try not to dwell on it too much. But that is not the last time I will work with Dragon Force. Thank God they are the most genuinely amazing people ever. So that's all the regrets for now, but we have plenty of time to add more. <laughs> but you know, you guys are my favorite peeps. I know you're gonna hit up the comment section and be like, it's okay, Steve, and you're gonna make me feel better about myself, but don't, because you know what would help me more? What kind of video should I be doing? I will tell you this, hidden messages and songs and miss her lyrics are a frickin' gold mine on my channel, and I've beaten them like a dead horse. What are more video ideas like that that I can do? Help me, please, I swear. And you know what, you wanna know something else? You guys are freaking amazing. You guys make me who I am. And I will spend the rest of my life thanking you guys. And I don't care how sick you get of hearing it. Screw you. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you.